Hello everyone. This is the church girl again today. And hope everyone having a blessed day today. And hope everyone have a good day. Wherever you're located, throughout this country, in the country, or out of the country. Hope everyone had a blessed day. This is the church girl Cummings. And this evening, or tonight rather, I'm gonna make some turkey burgers for me and hubby to eat. We don't have to eat at a certain time, so I got a little hungry, so I thought I would make some turkey burgers, and it gave me an opportunity to show you all how I put my turkey burgers together. I got to the place where I don't eat too many hamburgers at all, especially out. And also, I can't eat too much beef. I guess when your body gets used to eating certain things, I'm just used to eating a lot of turkey now, so I usually make my own turkey burgers, unless I can run into a place that have you no know, really, really good turkey burgers. But I tend to eat at home as much as possible. And when I make a burger, I'd rather make my own, and it will always be turkey. Now, there have been a time when I had a little ground chuck left over, and I just kind of threw it in there. And that gave it a good texture, too, because the ground chuck have a little more fat in it. As you all know, uh, ground turkey is much more healthy for you and doesn't have a whole lot of fat in it. This turkey that I'm using tonight is 93% lean. And that's the, that's the grade that I like. 93% lean turkey. I do like the uh, 7% um, little fat in it because you need some fat. You don't want it to be so, so dry. But I make my turkey burgers up where they're not going to be dry anyway because I add a little. I'll show you how I bring my turkey burgers together. First of all, this is my turkey, my ground turkey. I'm going to go right in now and make the way to make turkey taste good. You have to season it well. If you don't season your, your ground turkey well, it can taste bland. But you can fish your turkey in a way where you will absolutely love turkey burgers. And I'm telling you, it'll be all that you'll be looking for. If you know how to season your turkey real well, no matter how you're cooking your turkey, whether it's turkey, turkey breast or turkey legs or roasted turkey or turkey burgers, it's all about the, the flavoring. It's all about the seasoning when it comes to turkey. But at the same time, you don't want to over-season it. I always warn people not to over-season your food because you end up tasting nothing but season, and you won't be tasting your, 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 your good meat. Always want to wake that meat up with good seasoning, but you don't want to overpower none of your meats, even turkey. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to get started here. I have, hope I have everything out. I think I have everything out. I'm looking around, looking around for my onion. <laughs> Got to have some onion for that turkey burger, but I'm not going to use this just yet. I'm going to grill the onion. Gonna have turkey burgers tonight with a little french fries. And I wanted some, uh, my husband like, he like uh, sweet potato fries, but he couldn't find any good sweet potatoes. So I'm just gonna use regular potatoes. And also I have been oven the uh, apple pie I made in my last video. I showed you all how I make my pie crust. And I made a fresh apple pie. And I didn't have time to bake it because it was just, the video you know, was just too long. So I will be showing you that apple pie at the end of this video. As soon as I get my burgers on. It doesn't take long for turkey burgers to cook. That's why I put my my um, my pie in the oven and gave it a little head start. So by the time I finish with my burgers, my pie ought to be ready. Should be ready pretty soon. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I had this garlic uh, clove. I changed my mind. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put that garlic clove in there. Changed my mind about that. But I have some cursed garlic. I use a little, I love garlic, but I don't think I want to put that garlic clove in there. So now I'm going to get started. And first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add some, uh, y'all know I like Himalayan salt to my ground turkey here. And I'm going to be using some garlic powder. I'm going to be using what they call some uh, seafood spectacular, which is very good on all your meats, on all your meats. And, of course, I'm going to have a little, my all-time favorite, smoked paprika. You know, smoked paprika, although it makes your burgers really nice and brown, it also helps the flavor because it has that smoke to it. Have a little smoke to it. So it, helps, it really wakes that turkey up. Also going to put in a little bit of uh, chopped garlic. We love garlic in this house. So you'll see me using probably, you would probably think, wow, she's using so much garlic. It's just because we just happen to really like garlic. And also, in this turkey burger, 
I have a secret. I have a secret ingredient that I tend to use to bring my turkey burgers together. My niece at once they told me they didn't like turkey burgers. One night they was here, both of my nieces, <laughs> and um, I made turkey burgers and fries. And man, they tore those turkey burgers up. And now my niece be saying, "Auntie, I call. Her, I can call her right now. Say, what mean save your turkey burgers?" She'll say yes because she liked the way I uh, flavored it, and she said they loved the way I cooked it. So, but but really, what I really use to wake that turkey up, I use this sauce right here, a little hoisin sauce, and also a little teriyaki sauce. I put it over in this turkey burger. And you see how I bring it together. But you, man, you talking about a good flavor. Woo, Lord. Gonna hit it with a little of my all-time Creole Tonys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that first. Gotta stand back because remember I told you it'll, um, it'll definitely wake you up if you, if you sneeze, it'll make you sneeze. Didn't wanna use much of that, so went ahead and put that in. Now I'm gonna add some uh, garlic powder. I can't really tell you how much to use. I always tell people to season to their own taste. You know, I could go back and, and give you the measurements later. Because that was probably half a teaspoon. And this was probably less than a half a teaspoon. I only use this little bit of Creole seasoning because it's very good, but it can be salty. And I don't want it to be too salty. Now I'm going to, this is garlic and onions. But because I use that garlic powder, I don't think I'm going to use this, this garlic and onion because it has garlic. I already use garlic. That's another thing too. When you're cooking, and if you notice, you got some seasoning that have uh, two or three of the same type of seasoning in it, you don't have to use that seasoning but once. And so that's why I'm not going to really put this garlic and onions in here because I'm going to be roasting. <laughs> Excuse me, I told you. That's that uh, Tony's. Whew. You get me every time. Excuse me. That's that. <laughs> that's that Tony's. It, it'll get up your nose, and if you got a cold or something, it'll wake you up. So anyway, if you're using seasonings, and I see some people cooking with seasoning, put salt. They have five or six, seven different seasonings, and all of it have salt in it. And I'm like, wow, they're going to have a lot of salt in that stuff. So anyway, I use some garlic powder. The reason I'm not going to use this is because I already used garlic powder, and I do want to hit it with just a little bit of my crushed garlic. Remember, I'm using, I'm making uh, turkey burgers. I'm going to be grilling my onions, so I'm not going to put any raw onion in this burger. But I am going to put a little dry onions in. And that's because I love, um, maybe I shouldn't do that. I have another I, I have another idea that just came to me when I put in my turkey burgers. I'm going to grab that because they have dry onions in it. And if you use this, I guarantee you won't need a whole lot more seasoning because this got all the seasoning in it that you need. I'm going to use the beefy onion, I think. I'm going to use my onion mix, soup mix. I think I'm going to use the beefy flavor. Even though it's turkey, it's okay. So I use the beefy flavor. And this is just a mix that have all different uh, seasoning mixed up in it. I absolutely love this. I call this a stapler. I put this in a lot of my meats. Onion soup mix. Or you can also use beefy on onion soup mix. I happen to like Lipton. I tried another brand. I liked it, but it was a difference. I could taste the difference. So with this one, it smells so good. And all it is, just dry seasoning. And if I read on the back of the box, it'll tell me exactly what seasonings I have in it. Ingredients. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but check this out at the supermarket. And uh, it's very, very good. In, in a lot of soups, even in my beans. So very good in my beans and all my meats. It's nothing but a dry seasoning, see? That's all it is. It's just a seasoning. That's all it is. But it got a very, very good, uh, very good rich, rich taste to it. I don't think I'm gonna use the whole pack because I'm not making that many burgers. So I will put some of that in it. I love looking soup mix. It's nothing but, it's really nothing but another seasoning. Good on your potatoes if you're making Potatoes, like you frying you up some potatoes and onions. Put you some onion soup mix on there, a Lipton onion soup mix. I think they even have it on the back. They have a recipe with onion roasted potatoes right on the back. That's a recipe you could try. And man, it give it a very, very good flavor on top of your chili. This one have chili on it. See? So try different things. Try different spices. You can't go wrong. So I put some of that in there. 
and that would cut out. I don't need a whole lot of most different seasonings other than my other than my uh, little teriyaki and just a little bit of the horse and sauce. And that's it. And I'm, ooh, I don't have enough strength to even open this. I got it. I'm not going to imagine I'm just going to put just a little bit. Not too much. Because when you're working with turkey, if you don't have your turkey well seasoned, you find yourself eating bland turkey. And, you, and that's why a lot of people say they don't like turkey burgers. This right here, this is my, my, my secret. My secret ingredients. If you don't put nothing else in it but this and a little pepper and salt, you can't go wrong with your turkey burgers. This is my secret ingredient. So good. I haven't used any smoked paprika, but since I have it out, put just a dab in there. I didn't have to do that, but I put this a dab. Okay, now I'm gonna bring this together. And I don't think I'm gonna even put that little, uh, I was gonna put a little, ooh, ooh, I wish you could smell this. <laughs> wish you guys could smell it. I like to do what I said I'm gonna do. So since I said I was gonna use a little drop, Miss Garlic, it's like if I don't put it in there, in, in my head, I'll be like, oh, I should have put a little Miss Garlic. So there it is, just a little, just a tiny bit. So I'm going to be, ooh, the apple pie. Oh, wow. I wish you guys could see this apple pie. Ooh, I think I'm going to bring my camera over there and let you guys see that apple pie in that oven. Well, I'm not going to do all that. You'll see it in a minute. I'm going to be taking it out. It looks so good and it smells so good. I don't want this tape to... I don't want this video to be so, so long, so I'm going to move in a hurry. Okay, I'm going to mix this all up like so. Real fast here. And I'm getting ready to make these patties. Mix everything up really well. Homemade turkey burgers. Um, I wish, I just, honest to goodness, I wish you all could smell this. Oh, man. Oh, wow. I'm going to enjoy this turkey burger. <laughs> it may make me a big fat one. Okay, now. That's all mixed up. What I'm going to do real fast is um, olive oil. The reason I'm adding a little olive oil, if you're making regular burgers, you wouldn't need no oil because everybody knows ground beef and ground pork is full of fat. Turkey doesn't have that much fat on it. So I'm going to hit my skillet with just a little bit of, just a little small bit of uh, olive oil. Turn this uh, eye on. Have my other skillet for my. I'm gonna. I'm going to uh, grill up some uh, onions and the fried few potatoes. But I probably do the potatoes off camera because everybody should know how to make a French fry. I already peeled them, so I got to hurry up because I don't want my. I should put them on a little water. I don't want my potatoes to uh, turn brown. Just let me. Let me hit it with a little water here. Just putting a little water in my potatoes because I don't want them to turn brown. I peeled them already. Okay. So I'm working in a real hurry so I can get those french fries on. My hubby in the room in there and I think all he want to do is eat. I don't think he want to help. So I'm on my own. Okay, that oil will be ready. So now, I'm just going to go in here real fast and make up some patties. I'm going to separate it into four. So I'm hoping I can get four out of that pack. That was, only, was a small pack. Normally, he buy a big pack, but I don't need, we don't need that much. There it is, all mixed up. Half on that side. And put half on this side, and then I cut it in half to fours, just like so. I go ahead and separate them out so I know exactly how many burgers I have. So this will make four nice sized burgers. And we'll have some burgers for the, tomorrow or the next day. I like to make extra burgers. Then I put them in the refrigerator, you know, and for lunch, we can have a turkey burger for lunch. I go ahead 
and I uh, make my patty out. And I don't want it to be too, too big because turkey burgers, by it being so meaty, it, it'll uh, be really plump. And that's how I want it anyway. So I'm going to press it out here pretty good after I mix it up really well. Press it out. Sometimes I make mine a little bit smaller because I don't eat a whole lot. So small burger for me is just fine. But for the hubby, I give him a nice pack. First burger, right over in the skillet here. In my go-to skillet. So making sure I have that olive oil all over this skillet. I'm using just enough. Oops, I don't want to burn my fingers off. Just enough olive oil to coat the bottom of the pan because I don't need a whole lot of olive oil. I'm hoping I can get all four of these in there. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'm kind of funny when it comes to patties. I be trying to get... I like my burgers to be kind of uniform, so... It may seem like I'm really patting it a lot, but I'm not really patting it that much. But I do like my patties to look you know, kind of nice and uniform. Not all raggedy. <laughs> That's a nice one right there. That's a nice big one. Pat it out a little bit in the skillet. Cause it's turkey, so it's gonna it's gonna plump up really nice. Okay, two more to go. And I think I can get all four of these in that one skillet. And that'll be wonderful. That apple pie, ooh, the apple pie got this whole kitchen smelling. <laughs> That's part two. I made the apple pie and the crust in my last video. But uh, it was so long, I thought I'd better stop and just add the uh, add that pie to my second video and let you guys see how it came out. Okay. This is the third patty. I used a spatula because a spatula helped me to uh, really get all my meats out. The pan. Ooh, that's gonna be a big burger. Better take some of that off of that one and put on this one. That look awfully fat. Okay. As I said, keep those hands impeccable clean. Make you up some good old homemade turkey burgers, and you can't go wrong. I'm not. This is not. It's just 17 minutes, so that's not too bad. Okay. Putting this one in. Down it goes. And I'm going to put that other one in there. I think that pan is big enough to hold all four. I don't want to crowd my pan anytime you're cooking meats. Don't overcrowd your pan. You know, if you can't get it all in there, just go ahead and cook with it a whole and then go back and finish the rest. Okay? You don't, you don't have to, uh, don't force it. So I'm not going to force it, but I see I have enough room. I do have enough room to uh, get this last burger open there. And that'll be wonderful. Woo, wow. I can't hardly wait to, to try my apple pie. Last apple pie I made, I made my last apple pie using crushed, I mean, uh, using uh, dried apples, use my mom recipe. This time I just used plain um, fresh apples and I used my own recipe. That I put together, okay? All right, last burger. Pat it out real fast. It's nice size, it's not as plump as big as the other, so that's just fine. It'll fit just perfect. Nice homemade turkey burgers at the Ponderosa. That's what it looked like when you make your burger. And you just put it over on the, in the skillet and let it do its thing. Not gonna take it very long to cook. Cause burgers doesn't doesn't really take long to cook. Just patting it out a little bit because because my turkey tend to they really rise real well. Okay, now push that to the side and wash my hands real fast. Cause you all know how I am about hand washing, especially when you're dealing with meats. 
Got to keep those hands impeccable clean at all times. Get my leaf cloth here. Okay. Just wash this special out in case I need it. I don't see my small stuff. All right. Got my hands all washed and clean. Okay, and get this out of the way. And now what I'm gonna do while that's cooking, cooking up really well, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my uh, onions to be, be grilled. I'm gonna grill some onions in this skillet right here. Cause we like grilled onions on our turkey burgers. So I'm gonna grill them up while those turkey burgers is cooking. I'll just go ahead and put my seasoning back, back away. Put my seasons back away. And I'm kind of particular when I put my seasons in my, in my pantry. I like everything in a certain order. And when my husband bakes sometimes and I come in here and he has seasoning everywhere, I be about to have a fit. <laughs> because they have his own home. And I like for it to go back to his own home that I prepared for it. If it's not in his own home, the church girl don't like when it's not in his own home. I'm smelling something. I don't know what that is. Oh, wow. It's cooking so good, but it's kind of boiling over a little bit. And that's why I didn't want to happen. Just taking my apple pie. Ooh, it looks so good. I don't know where, I don't know where the, uh, but that's okay. As long as it stay on the patty. I have in my oven, in my oven, I have special liners that I ordered for my oven. So if something happened to run over, it's real easy to clean because I have special liners just for baking. I didn't set it on a cookie sheet. Sometimes I put it on a cookie sheet. But I don't have to worry about that too much because I have special liners anyway. And the burgers are cooking now. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some red onions real fast. Just chopping up red onions because we're gonna put grilled onions on my husband's burger. He like plain, he like his burgers pretty plain. I like cheese, I like cheese on my turkey burgers. And sometimes I fry up some bacon to make a bacon. A bacon and cheese turkey burger. But tonight, I'm not, I'm not fooling with no bacon at all. Okay, just rinsing off my onion here. So I can get ready. Try and take that out of, try and get this outer piece off. So I can go ahead and, uh, there it is, I got it. Go ahead and rinse it off real good. Some people don't rinse their rinse their um, onions, but you know how I am. Church girl rinse everything, if at all possible. I rinse because it's not gonna hurt. I want my onion, I want my onion nice and clean, just like everything else. Not gonna cut that all the way off because that'll make my onion fall apart. All right, I'm gonna chop up some. The reason I'm grilling up a lot of onions because I'm gonna have some burgers left over and I like to have my grilled onions already cooked and ready to go. So when Ken would eat another burger, his grilled onions will be already, already prepared. My, my apple pie sm smells so good, but it spilled over a little bit in the oven. I'm not gonna worry about that. I have special, Special urban guard, guard down. So I'm hoping it doesn't run all the way through. Smelling like it is though. I just don't want it to run off the pad. And 
I'm trying to run off the pad a little bit. Honey! I can't take it out. It's too hot for me, too heavy for me to take out, so. I have to call my husband for to take it out. It should be, it should be uh, ready to come out. Because it's been cooking for well over an hour. My timer went off about 30 minutes ago. But I let it stay in the oven because I didn't start the timer on time anyway. Honey! Come and take the pie out the oven. Guys, have to excuse me for yelling and screaming in this house. Mr. Cummins, I don't know where he's at, but he's not answering me again. You downstairs? Yeah. Come and see about this pie, baby. I'm, I got these burgers on. And I'm chopping up onion. I only have two hands. Okay, I'm just chopping up some grilled onions here. Like that, like so. And I'm just going to grill them just like that. It's kind of spilled over. I should have put it on the cookie sheet, but I got a liner in there, so I still have to clean that liner later. So take a look at it and make sure. Let me get let me get the, let me get the rack out. Getting the bagels rack out, you guys. To set the pie on. I'm gonna sit on this rack here. Put it over out the way. Put that in the pantry real fast for me. Set it on the table. I may need that. Burning. But that's nothing but the overflow. Put it off since it's ready. You can tell. Ooh, I should have sit on the um. I should have put it on the on the on the rack, but I didn't. Not gonna worry about it. I have a special liner in there, as I said anyway. Okay, I have my onions all chopped up now, ready to be grilled. I grill them on the stove real fast. Saute. They're not grilled. I'm going to saute these onions for the burger. That's ready, huh? Yeah. Oh, that looks good, don't it? Think it's ready? Yeah. Because I can't do nothing else with it. It got that uh, stuff in that bottom. I got to do so much. Of, uh, I'll grill your, I'll toast your, uh, I'll toast your, uh, Hamburger bun in a toaster. Okay. The pie is out the oven and it looks some kind of delicious and it smells so, so good. Smell like, smell like Christmas in this kitchen. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hope my husband enjoy his pie because he like, he like pies. And, um, I don't bake pies that often. Cause we don't eat them a whole lot. We can't cut way back, so we don't have to cook them a lot. But I had a taste for a fresh apple pie the other day, and I told Ken, I said, "I'm gonna make a fresh apple pie and make my own crust." So I got my onions. I'm gonna grill these onions up for my burgers. And the burgers is cooking. I'm going to have to turn them over in a minute. They didn't take long at all to cook. I'm trying to rush up because I don't want that video too long. It's already 28 minutes. I'm not going to do the french fries on the counter. So wiping this onions off my uh, workstation here. My friends laugh at me sometimes. They say, all I do is wipe, wipe, wipe. <laughs> kind of tickle me. But sometimes it's good to wipe a little bit as you go. I'm going to go ahead and use this extra uh, butter flavor. I had a little extra butter flavor uh, Crisco left over for my pie, for my pie crust that I didn't use. I'm going to use it for the grill my onions with. I got a small spatula. Where's that small spatula? It's amazing sometimes when I'm cooking and I'm looking for certain things and I know it's in the kitchen and I can't seem to put my hands on it. I got it. It's over here in this bowl. I'm going to use it though. Okay. I'm going to use this extra, little extra uh, butter flavor Crisco 
It's still of a little olive oil. Since I already have it, since I already have it, I may as well use it to saute my uh so wondering what I was gonna do with that little Crisco. I didn't want to have to put it back in the container. I don't like putting stuff back when I take it out like that. I don't have to throw it out, but it won't go to waste. I'm just gonna saute my onions in it, and that'll be just fine. Okay. While that's getting ready, I'm gonna turn over these uh, burgers. If they're ready to be turned, I'm thinking they're thinking they're ready to be turned. And they're coming along just fine. Checking my burgers. I don't want to cook them cook them way way too too fast, so I turn turn them up just a little bit because I did have it on. I do have them cooking a little slow, so I'll turn them up. So you can go ahead and fry up. In the interim, I'll show you. Take it. I can't. I can't move that pie because it's extremely too high. Oh, I got it on the rack though. I think I can move. The, I can move the whole rack if it's not too hot. Oh, it looks so good. Smells good. While wow, that's frying, I'm gonna show you this apple pie. I'm gonna set it close. I'm not gonna try to, cause it's real, real hot, so. But I do want you to get a good look at my apple pie. I'm proud of my apple pie. Church girl, proud of her apple pie. There you have it. That's the apple pie I made in the last video. And the video was too long, so I didn't get an opportunity to, uh, to bake it, but there you have it. That's the apple pie, homemade crust by the church girl. And it smells really, really good. And moving the camera, so just bear with me on that. I just really want you to see my pie. I'm not gonna try to touch it. You know, you get the moving hot stuff and sometimes I forget. Okay. There you have it. I think I'm going to just let, let it stay sitting on this side. Since I already have it over here. Got it on my baker's rack, so I'm going to just let it stay sitting on this side of my kitchen. Wow, that looks so good. Look at that. Look at that. Looks so, so good. I'm very proud of my apple pie. You know when you cook homemade, as I said, you, you feel good about your food because you be the one cooking it. Church girl apple pie remind me of my mother. My mother was a great cook. I better turn those burgers off or whatever while I'm talking about this pie. <laughs> now I have to put a little water in. I don't want to stick. These made some really nice patties. Oh wow, that turkey bread is gonna be really good. Made some really, really nice patties. But every once in a while, I will put just a drop of water because by being turkey, I don't want it to dry out. I don't want it to dry out. So when I'm making turkey burgers, sometimes I will even cover them. Sometimes I'll even cover my burgers, you guys. Cause I don't want my turkey to dry out. I'm not gonna cover them. Cause I'm moving fast. Let my, I think I let my, uh, oh, I got a little too hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my cover for it. So it don't splatter all over the place. I use my splatter guard, just like so. So it do not splatter. So that the oil will not splatter all over when I put those um, when I put those onions in there. On this, on this so particular, you guys, seem like I just have to rinse and wipe off everything, even though it is clean. That just somebody said I had ADHD. <laughs> I 
I told him, I don't know what I got, but I know one thing, I'm clean. <laughs> one of my nurse friends told me. I said, Pat, you, got, you must have ADHD. You be wiping and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. I said, I don't know what I have, but whatever it is, I'm going to be clean, I bet you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to saute these onions up now. I'm going to add a little water to them. They're going to steam, but that's okay. So I want to saute them. I don't want to fry them. So I'm just going to put that water in that too. Because I don't like grease popping all over my house. But anyway. It'll be all good. Saute my onions because we love onions on our burger. So the burger is about ready. I'm going to go ahead and get Ken's uh, hot dog bun. I'm going to put this burger together. Show you guys the final results and bid you good night. Okay. So glad my apple pie came out really good. And one more little tip I want to tell you about your pies. I haven't bought me a, um, a pie guard yet, a baking guard, because I always forget. I don't do a lot of baking pies. But there is a, a guard, a baking guard, so you don't have to make these to put around your crust, the rim of your crust. Sometimes your rim of your crust on your pie, the rim will sometimes get brown first before the pie completely cook. And there is a pie guard that you could buy. And it just cover the pie. All this will be open in the center. And then the outside will be covered. That will protect your, that will guard your, uh, the rim of your pie. And it won't get so brown so fast. A lot of times before your pie cook, the outside of the crust will be really, really, really dark brown. So what I did tonight, if you don't have a pie guard, just get you some foil. Cut up little strips just like this. And just put it around your pie. Like so. All the way around your pie. Sometimes you have to work with it a little bit to get it to stay up there. But it will stay if you work with it a little bit. So that's what I had to do tonight. Because I didn't want my crust to brown on the edges. The rim. Before my whole crust, before the whole pie finished cooking on the inside. So I just made me up some little guards. Just like so. I want to kind of show you. If it fall off while, you, while you're trying to get it on there. Do the best you can. And ease it back in the oven. Just pull it out, you know. Okay, so I made my I made me some little rims, some protectors, just like so. See that? And I put it around that pie so it would protect my rim. It protected my rim. So as the pie cooked, my outer rim didn't get so brown and dark too fast before you know before the whole pie cooked. So that just was a little tip I wanted to sh share with you. If you don't have a pie guard, you can make you can make your pie guard. <laughs> That's what homemade cooking is all about. That's what homemade cooking is all about. You just do what you got to do. Okay, I'm sauteing my onions in that little extra um, that little extra butter, that little extra butter um, Crisco that I had out. Just threw it in there so I wouldn't lose it. And so, now, these burgers are about ready. Turn the oven on. Came out really, really good. I'll show them to you in a little bit. But in the meantime, we're gonna get Deacon Cummins. We're just gonna put this, um, we eat whole grain. This is whole grain. Buns, it's not the white bread, not the white buns, it's whole grain. I'm not as uh, big a fan on these whole grain buns as my husband is, so I may just eat whole grain wheat bread for my sandwich. Oh, I'll use the bun too. I just have to make sure mine is toasted real well. I'm going to take two of those out because he's only going to eat one, and I'll probably eat a half of one. We got lettuce and tomato. He only, he only like, uh, Ken only like, on his burger, just tomatoes and, and lettuce. He don't like cheese and all that good stuff. 
Nope. The hubby don't like cheese and all that good stuff like I do on my burger. I like the works. <laughs> I like cheese and bacon and everything else I can get on there. <laughs> but all Ken like is sandwich spread. For some reason, he loves sandwich spread. I don't like that on no burger. Okay. Those burgers are about ready to come out. I'm going to take them out. I'm trying to find something small. I don't want to a whole great big, large, large, large pan. And I don't have to. Everything seemed, seemed to be so big, but that's okay. I'm not gonna use that. Just so big. This is perfect. Put the burgers on here. I'll go ahead and toast these. At least toast up one. I'm not toasting mine yet because I'm not ready to eat. I eat real late, you guys. I don't ever eat early. I should have put these in the toaster. Still in that oven. But I'll go ahead and toast it up in the oven. It'll take a minute. Let's see if I got grease and popped on my stove. You know, I don't like that. The church girl don't like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and dress this burger real fast. And bid you good evening. Main thing I just want you all to see the outcome of the pie and how I put my turkey burgers together. And um, that's grilling real good. I'll turn these off. Ooh, it looks really good too. I think I'll just bring it over there to you. I think I'll just bring it over to you. I bring everything else to you and show it to you. May as well bring this to and show it to you. How my burgers came out. There you have it. Trying to get my hand out of the way. Turkey burgers. And that's the grilled onion over there. So what I'm going to do now is uh, go ahead and fix, fix uh, my husband his turkey burger and be it's a good evening but I'm well pleased I think they came out really good and I don't have to I don't even have to take them out of the skillet I let them stay right in the skillet and sometimes what I do though I go ahead and put it right on top of this onion those onions that's grilling up sometimes I go right ahead and stick my burgers right over in there with them. That way I can use my other skillet and go ahead and fry those. Get it washed and go ahead and fry up those uh, potatoes. That's it nice and hot. So now I'm just going to uh, get ready to, to dress this burger. Then I bid you good evening. I'm making french fries, but I'm not making french fries on the video. I don't have to be on the video to make the french fries. He just went, uh, he like thousand dollars and I know I got some someplace in here. I know I got some someplace. There it is. And tomato and lettuce. And I think I'm going to use paper plates because I don't want to have a whole lot of dishes to fool with. To wash up. I don't mind washing dishes, but if I don't have to. I won't. <laughs> I'm just going to use paper plates because that's the easiest. At this point, that's the, just easy to do. So I'm going to go ahead and slice up some. He didn't buy no big round tomatoes because I had tomatoes. So sometimes you just use what you have. So it didn't make sense to go out and buy more tomatoes because I hadn't used what I had. I got it. Next time I'm going to put my uh, camera on the tripod. I got three tripods in this house. I have three tripods. It don't make sense <laughs> for me not to have it on the tripod. I can't wait to try this pie, though. 
I'm real, I'm real pleased with the pie. Okay, now I'm just gonna cut this uh, tomato up here, like so. I was gonna cut it long way, but I guess I'll go ahead. These are small tomatoes. I love tomatoes, so I eat tomato. I love, love my tomato, real sweet. Slice up some tomato. I think that's enough. Get some lettuce. Some lettuce off of here. Make quick, I'm trying to move in a hurry. I always have these videos too long. I gotta start editing. But I'll get there. Lord's gonna bless me to get it just right. I have, I have nice cameras and some of the latest equipment. I just gotta learn how to use all that stuff I got. I got the very best of cameras and the best of tripods. And I'm not lacking for anything, I just gotta know how to use it. <laughs> I bought a really nice camera last year for Christmas. I already had like three cameras, so. I don't have a camera shortage. I just got some knowledge shortage. <laughs> All right, got me some lettuce here. Some lettuce. Put all this lettuce here. Get this out of the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Uh, I keep looking for my small specs. I don't know why I lose it so much. But I'm not going to worry about it. I'm in a hurry, so I'll just use this butter knife. Okay, the burgers are ready. The uh, onions is sauteed up really, really good. The burgers are really good. See? Take your burgers and, and grilled onions. So now I'm going to go ahead and dress my hubby's. I just grilled his uh, toast just a little bit in the oven. I didn't let it stay in that long. I probably should have put it in the uh, toaster, but that's okay. He's just like sandwich bread. I don't know where to get that from, but everybody eat different. Everybody like different stuff. So uh, I give it to him the way he like it. Whatever make him happy. That's what I try to do. So I'm just gonna splatter this with some uh, sandwich bread. That's what he like on his burger. I told him to get some big buns. He about these little bitty baby buns. He ain't no baby. He need a, he need he need those king size buns. That burger is so big. So anyway, there you have that. So I'm gonna. Next, I'm going to put some lettuce on this bad boy. I wouldn't intend to tear my lettuce up like that. I like to make, I like to put one big nice piece of lettuce, you know, and set that burger right down in the middle of that lettuce. And then I'm going to go ahead and layer it with, uh, with some tomato on one end. Like so, I'm just dressing my husband's burger, bringing the burger together. Then I'm gonna get a nice hot patty, turkey patty, and lay it right on, on top of that bad boy with a lot of, lots and lots of grilled onions. I didn't wait to, uh, I didn't, I'm not gonna wait to serve him up the, uh, with the fries, and I might, but I just wanted to at least show you guys how I put this together. I go ahead and grab some onions. I usually put some on the top and the bottom. But tonight, I think I'm just gonna put some on grilled onions. Ooh, it's hot, tastes good. These are the red onions that just a little, have a little sweetness to them. Just like so. I put grilled onions there. 
And then I'm just gonna top it off with another big fat juicy burger. That's the burger I'm putting on my husband's patty, turkey burger. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> anyway, then I'm gonna top it off with some more grilled onions. And there you have it. Turkey burger with grilled onions, lettuce and tomato. The way the king of the castle loves it. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and serve it up like this to my hubby. Open face. I usually serve it open face. That way he can add it, he can cover it up himself. And I'm gonna bid you all good night. Until next time. I'm just gonna go ahead and get off and I'm gonna cook the fries. I'm not gonna do the fries on the video. So there you have it. Turkey burger, open face. Homemade turkey burger and grilled onions. Seasoned well. It's much more healthier for you. It's not greasy. And when you make it yourself, I think you'll really enjoy it even better. So I have Two nice slices of uh, tomatoes, lettuce, tomatoes, grilled onions. I have lettuce, tomatoes, grilled onions, the turkey burger patties, and more grilled onions on top. And then Ken would be the one to, to um, serve it open face. I'm trying to show it to you. There you have it. Turkey burger 101 by the church girl herself. So, and there's the apple pie, part two, part one. I've already done when I made the crust and the pie, but that's the finished product of the apple pie. And those are the rest of the turkey burgers and grilled onions. And there you have it. Homemade turkey burgers 101 with the church girl herself. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Try this recipe. Eat healthy as possible. Try some turkey burgers. I guarantee you, I think you'll really enjoy them. And, I, and they are not as heavy as ground meat. When I eat ground meat burgers, I had to stop eating them because they made me feel so heavy in my stomach. So I'm a little sensitive, but turkey burgers are light. They're not heavy. As I said, they're not greasy. Season them to your taste. And it'll come out right every time. That being said, please go over to Church Girl, Cooking with Church Girl Cummings. Like and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it very much. Until next time, I'll bid you good night. He has done great things for me. Great things, great things. He has done great things for me and for you. Good night from the church girl.